Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the plus to perform the motion capture for your Unreal Engine just by using your camera or any of the MP4 video and this is really easy for your game developing process for your Unreal Engine game project. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you already have an Unreal Engine game project and you can see this is the game project, the third person game. If you play, then this is uh, your third person avatar. And then it is under your content, your mannequin folder, your animation folder. You can see all these animation sequence. We call, we call it as animation sequence and you can have a look. Now you have a view, for example, walking. And the mannequin itself is one of the avatar inside your, your, your Unreal Engine. You have the skeleton mesh of the mannequin. And in this tutorial, when I show you, it can apply in any avatar in your Unreal Engine. And I will use the mannequin as the example. Alright, so now, next you have to check out the plus.ai. This is the free software, the free app for you to perform the video motion capture. So now you enter the plus.ai first and I will enter. You make sure you have to sign in by using your Gmail account, by using your Google account. Once you sign in already, you can click get started. Once it already finished loaded, you can see here, this is a library and next, you can see I have a sample video. Just have a look. This is one of the sample video that I get from the official site of the plus.ai. You can record by your own. Just use your camera, just use your webcam to stand in front of the computer and you, you can just record your own animations. Once you recorded already, save it as an MP4 file. This is an MP4 video file. Drag the, drag the mp4 video file into the library and then click confirm. Now it is uploading, you have to wait for a while until it finish uploading. You can see once it finished uploaded already, you can extract motion and you also can just choose part of it to extract. You can just drag it and just choose part of the motion that you want. For example, I only want this part. This is the whole video timeline, totally have 12.7 seconds. I only want to extract this part. And now I play, it keep on just looping at this side. I only want to have all this motion, I click extract only for this part. I click extract, and the exported motion, I will name it as dance01. This is a, an example, I click OK. And now it is extracting the motions. And here you have to wait for a while. Usually it, it will take up, up to one minute or just a few seconds. You have to wait. Once done already, you check your library. It will automatically appear at here. So next, what you are going to do is drag the dance 01 into the mannequin GLB. And then it will automatically appear here. When you try to play, you can see now it, it already become the 3D animations. You click stop and then right click it, export. The motions, you only choose the dance 01. You click export. Then you have to wait for a while. Now it is exporting and it is automatic downloading. Now you can see it automatic downloads as the mannequin. This is Google Chrome browser. So what I need to do is just click here, show in folder. Now it will automatically pop out my download folder. This is the one. So I have to name this as mannequin. Wait, I, I name it as dance. Zero one. This is the original that we want. As demo, I will just cut it and put it on my desktop. 
So now, just now we use the sample video MP4. And after that, just, just by using the plus.ai, now we already get this, the dance zero ones. All right, this is the FBX file. And next, what you are going to do is just go and download the plus mocap avatar for your 3D exchange. Because the 3D exchange pipeline is one of the software that you need it to retarget the motions. All right, so now, you open your 3D Exchange 7 and then after you already downloaded the plus mockup mannequin.iavatar, it is at here. Once you download it already, drag it into your 3D Exchange and then here you have to scroll down, drag it down so that you can see the motion library. Once you see the motion library already, you can see one is motion library, one is perform editor. Drag your dance zero one into the motion library. Make sure you select the current the current character, then click OK. Then click Add All to perform, and then at here you click one more time, click one more time, rename it as dance zero one. Make sure you name it properly, and then you click Export, and make sure you untick the export geometry and only tick export animations then here you tick export rl motions browse the desktop as demo i will export it on my desktop click ok it will export as rl motion file format i click ok and click ok now you can see it exported as rl motion file this file type is the iclo motion file so once we already get the iclo motion file then in your 3D Exchange 7, you can just close this by click File, New, and just clear everything from here. Next, you go to your Unreal Engine, select the avatar that you want to, you want to retarget of this. This is a Dance Zero One. Which avatar in your Unreal Engine 4 you want to apply the Dance Zero One motions? You go and find the skeleton mesh. For example, I will use the skeleton mesh of the SK Mannequin. Just right click it, start the, the asset actions, export it, export as FBX, and as demo, I will export it on my desktop. The name is SK Mannequin. It can be any avatar in your Unreal Engine. And the SK Mannequin is just a, just a, a demo. Always remember what you are going to export is the skeleton mesh, which is pink color, or we call it the magenta color, the skeleton mesh. All right, so now you export it. And always remember this UE4 mannequin skeleton, this is, this skeleton is belongs to SK mannequin. So now we export it as FBX file on the desktop, save, and then click export. Now you can see it exported, already exported here as SK Mannequin. Next, we are going to use the 3D Exchange again to retarget this RL motion on the SK Mannequin. Drag in the SK Mannequin, then click OK. The first step in 3D Exchange, you must make sure you make it become a non-standard avatar. When this pop out, you have to choose no. We don't want to have any of the auto conversions. And then next, you have to scroll down here until you see convert to non-standard. Once you click it, then this one, some nodes have the same name, blah, blah, blah. You choose yes, this one compulsory, yes. And then you can see you have to map all the skeletons, but in this case, what you are going to do is just, just make it become a T-Pose. Alright, so to make it become a T-Pose, double click it here, then we press R so that you can lift it up. Here also the same. You want the T-Pose, so you have to lift it up. 
make sure you create a T post for your mannequin. All right. Some more. Next, you check again here. This one, you also want to rotate it until it appears as a T post. All right, here, you have to push it back a little bit. You look from here, then you can see. Make sure it is straight. Make sure it is a perfect T post. All right, now, finally, it's the hands. Wait, this one, you have to make it down a little bit. All right, then the hand has up a little bit. Wait, Control Z, sometimes you have, you have different axes, so you have to, to do it another way around. This one, press E, switch it, and here. All right, once you already make it become T-Post, you also need to make the leg of the T-Post to make it as, as perfect as possible because you are going to retarget it. So now you can see this is a T-Post already. Next, you have to retarget it. If you double click, this is a head. So map the head, map the neck. It can be any avatar, not necessary to be the mannequin. In your Unreal Engine, sometimes you already have other avatars or can perform in the same way. Now, the hand. Map everything, included the finger. Now finish the index finger, you have the middle finger. Now you have two more fingers. You have one more finger. And then now, once you're done already, it's another hand. Go to another hand. included a finger all the fingers you must map it properly And now this is the last finger. All right, done already. You have to click here. Next. You have to map the hip bone. And then map the spine. Then you have two more. One is at here. You start from the bottom. And we can ignore the shoulder bones, it is not so important. Next, you up. Then, map the thigh, map the leg, and then map the foot. Once done already, take active and then Click convert. Now, this mannequin already become become the non-standard avatar. We call it I avatar. First, you save it, export it out. Only export the geometry. As the SK mannequin, as as demo, I will just export it on my desktop. And this is very useful. This is the, the non-standard character for Icon Seven. You click OK. Then it will. It will add here, this is the eye avatar. Next, it's the time to export the animation sequence from here. Still remember just now you already exported as a dance 01 RL motion. This is the icon motion file. 
drag this icon motion file to to the motion library drag in this one drag in and then add all to perform once you click it now you can just have a preview yes it is it is already retargeted next what what are we going to do is just export it as fbx file here choose the unreal engine and then we don't want to include the geometry we want to include the animations this ones and save one pic profile this is very important and as demo i will just export it on my desktop click ok the sk mana queen dance zero ones if i click ok and click ok again and click ok now it exported as as the prefix name SK Mana Queens underscore dance zero one. This is the animation sequence that we are going to import into Unreal Engine now. So now back to the Unreal Engine. This is the mesh folder. Just beside the skeleton mesh, I will create a new folder, the animation. All right, I double click it and then I drag in the SK Mana Queen. Dance zero one. This is the animation sequence that we want. I drag in, and then the skeleton mesh. You must choose the skeleton mesh that belongs to. Wait, here are the skeletons. We must choose the skeleton which is belongs to the skeleton mesh that you exported just now. Choose this. This is a UE four mana queen skeleton. The animation length. You must choose the animated time. This is compulsory. And then click import all. And here you have to wait for a while until you finish import. Now you can see once you finish import, it will pop out a message log. Just need to click close. Close it. Now you can see your SK Mana Queens dance zero one. If you double click it, you can see it already become, become one of the animation sequence. Right. Now you already successfully performed the motion capture just by using an MP4 video or one of the video that captured by you and you already successfully retargeted on one of the avatar, the skeleton mesh in your Unreal Engine game project. And this is the fastest way, this is the most efficient way to perform the motion capture and it is really free. Everyone can just go and use it in your game developing process. All right. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.